I'd like to show you how powerful global light can be here inside of Photoshop effects, but then I'll also finish by showing you one of the potential pitfalls as well. So let's quickly dissect this graphic that I have just here. I have a table in the background. We have three donuts sitting on top, all on their own layers, and we have a coffee cup sitting alone just up here. So I think the most important question to address in this video is who puts grapes on a donut? But anyway, I digress. So here's the scenario just here. I have effectively created an artificial light source in the upper left corner by putting a drop shadow on the bottom right edge of all of these items. So that's cool. So let's quickly review some of those settings. So for example, donut grapes just here. Here it is. If I double click on drop shadow, that will open up the settings. So you can see I have a distance of 35, a size of 40, and an opacity of 79. Basically, I just rolled these around to suit. And once I found something I like, I just chose OK and applied those same settings to these other donuts. But let's look quickly at the coffee cup because I want to point out its drop shadow settings are slightly different. Uh, the opacity is the same, but the distance and the size are a little bit larger. My rationale being uh, the coffee cup's a little bit taller, so it's going to cast a longer shadow with an artificial light source in the upper left corner just there. Okay, very nice. So that's uh, that's a breakdown of the Photoshop file. So let's say now I'm thinking I would like this drop shadow to fall on the bottom left edge of this donut just here. So donut grapes, let's open up the drop shadow. And there's an angle feature, which I didn't address before. If I roll that around to here to say roughly 49 degrees, the drop shadow is now indeed falling on the bottom left edge. Fantastic. So here's the problem. I now have to go and edit all of those other drop shadows to match this one, or do I? Well, if I've actually used the setting for global light, I won't have to. So if I jump, actually, I'll just undo that and jump back in there. So Donut Grapes, drop shadow. If I turn on use global light, now if I make a change to this angle setting, any other effect through my document that uses an effect which has the global light feature attached to it, that will also change as well. So now if I roll this angle around, you can see the shadow has updated on our donut grapes image and also these two donuts here, but also fantastically the coffee cup as well. Now that's particularly important to remember guys, because remember the coffee cup had different distance and size values, but the angle for the global light is actually consistent with all of those four items. So that's fantastic. So they have all moved together, which is great. So actually I'll just cancel out of there. So just to remind you, they are all operating together. If you go into any one of those and you make sure if the global light setting is on, if you change that in one place, any other setting that uses global light will also change as well. So that's fantastic. And of course, if you wish to not have this particular item follow the global light setting, just simply turn it off. And then you can change that to your heart's content with everything else staying the same. Okay, so Global Light's an incredibly powerful tool as we've just seen. So why at the top of this video was I talking about a potential danger? Well, let me close scene one just here and open up scene two. And let's have a look at these glasses just here. Actually, I'll just show you, I've got a table graphic just here and the glasses just sitting here. Now I can immediately tell that the shadow on these glasses looks wrong. It's not what I set up. So when I was setting this up earlier, this is not what I created. And if I double click on drop shadow, I'll show you why this has become a problem. It's because use global light is turned on for this guy. So while I was making changes through scene one, just up here, unbeknownst to me, the shadow on this glasses layer was changing behind the scenes. So again, global light potentially very powerful, but also potentially dangerous if it's active on items that you aren't aware might be changing. So uh, in this situation here, guys, I'm just gonna turn global light off and then I can adjust the shadow to suit. Very nice, I'm happy with that. And just choosing okay. So that's the global light setting here inside of Photoshop. Uh, very powerful tool, but also potentially a little bit dangerous. Happy designing, guys.